When you're logging into the Rumbix platform to enter your time card, you're going to click sign in. And then you're going to enter the email address um, that you're set up with in the Rumbix database. This will be the email address used when you set up your password. So you should have already received an email to this email address, and that is your username to log in. So you'll enter your email address and then you'll enter your password. Sign in. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do on this time card screen is select the project that you need to enter time to. You can scroll through and find the project, or if you know the name you, or the um, project number, you can enter it here and it'll find it for you. So you're going to select the project. If you've worked on multiple projects, you can select as many projects as you need. And now you are already selected as the worker, so there's nothing else you need to do there. And you're going to select your cost codes that you need to enter time to. You will only see cost codes related to the projects that you selected. I'm going to click Save at the bottom. And now the date is going to default to the current date. If you need to enter time for a different date, you can do that just by touching in there and using the scroll wheel to move the date to the correct day. And you can also adjust the time here as well. And you'll notice that when I adjusted the start date here, it automatically adjusted the end date and time. So once all of this information is entered correctly, you'll just click Next at the bottom. And here's where you enter your hours. You'll click here in this box to go to the hour screen. Here's the cost code that I selected on the previous screen. So I'll enter my hours here. And if you entered overtime, there as well. And if I have anything extra that my company has set up for us to enter, like per diem or mileage, anything like that, it will be here in the Add Shift Extra box. Um, so I clicked in there, and I'm going to enter some per diem. This one is set up for the amount, so my per diem is $60. You can see you can add attachments if there's something you need to take a photo of, like a receipt. You can do that here. Once I've entered everything, I'm just going to click Done. So I have my time. I have my shift extra. If my employer has asked me to enter um, shifts and breaks, that happens here. The first thing you have to do is enter your shift. So I click there and the start time, and it's automatically going to select the start and end time and date that you had put on that time card setup screen. So if that's correct, you can just click in there and click Save. And now, once you enter the shift start and stop time, you're able to enter breaks and meals. My employer only wants me to enter meals, so I'm going to get that done real quick. Just use the scroll wheel. So my meal break was 12 to 12.30. Click Save Changes. All right, so I have my time card entered. I have my hours. This is the representation for the shift and break. And I have one shift extra. That was my per diem. Everything looks good. I just click Submit Work Shift. And it asks me to confirm the date. And I say yes. And you're done. Now you have created your time card and your admin team and your payroll team can see it in the Remix platform.